Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's Zen JJ. Today we're gonna continue our tutorial on Bybit Food tutorial on spot trading. So if you guys are not uh, subscribed to the channel, kindly the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave the thumbs up to this video. And let's get started. Before we jump into the topic, I would like to introduce you to my Discord channel. Which, if let's say you are a new person, I'm mean like a new beginner in like cryptocurrency or whatsoever, feel free to join the Discord channel. And after that, from there, I believe that most of the community member out there will love to help you guys. And after that, from there, you can have like discussion on maybe like which project is good and after that from there or everybody can make money all together so right now we're going to jump into the topic how does spot trading work so if you are not uh you are you are like watching on this tutorial itself you do not know why it's by or whatsoever just check out the playlist that's going to pop up above so on there we can like explain on the first video i've done basically the, the full review of uh bybit and after that the bybit free course how to how to trade and become a pro basically talking about the platform so right now we're gonna jump into the topic basically is how does the spot trading works and after that over here this is the website of bybit itself the spot trading site uh first of all you need to create an account using the link down below and over here if let's say you are in a restricted country i'm just gonna do something to basically get away that thing over there huh, what should i do man Unsure about that, just click on this and after that, um, yep, wait for a while. So, this is the spot trading platform which will look something like this. And after that, you will need to trade with US Tether. So, over here, once I refresh the page, the, the thing is gone. So, over here, how does spot trading work? It's basically spot trading is for you to basically buy uh, an asset slash a crypto over here using US Tether. So, how do you want to like uh, determine on what is this USDT and BTC? Basically, over here, you have to understand the first step on top itself is showing. This is yeah, what you're going to spend. Basically, you're going to spend US Tether to exchange for all these coins that is listed on uh, Bybit itself. And after that, if let's say you click on this tab over here, this is telling you that, oh, I'm going to use Bitcoin to buy Ethereum or XRP. So this is a very similarized, I mean like a simple way for you to understand whatever is on top is telling you that you are going to spend this asset to basically acquire the assets below. So I hope you understand this. And of course, right now, we're going to talk about what are the different trading pair. So basically, on what are the trading uh, trading pairs difference is over here. The difference over here is telling you Bitcoin to US Tether. If you click on BTC, it's going to tell you Ethereum slash uh, BTC. So over here, there's a understanding on all the exchanges. It's an international uh, language, I would say, that uh, all the exchanges use the same slash over here. You see the first first um the first trading pair over here the first currency slash the next currency and of course i believe if you guys are in forex or whatsoever you also understand what is this basically it's telling you that you are going to use a uh, us the amount the behind the behind part itself is telling you the assets that you are going to use to acquire the front so here is to understand that this asset is i'm going to buy and i'm going to use this so i'm i want basically over here i want to buy ethereum using bitcoin so this is very uh, understandable so for us data it's the same thing you gotta click i want to buy ethereum using us data so this is how you understand the difference of trading pair itself and of course some other exchange over there uh, on the crypto market there's like other trading pair like ethereum and after that from there there is the other like xrp and many many more trading pairs itself so on bybit on Bi itself is only us data and bitcoin so right now we're gonna talk about what are the type of different uh, types of trades on the uh, exchange over here as we can see so over here, you can see on the tab over here, uh, the right side on, on your uh, interface if you are using it and you are following through the tutorial. So over here, it's telling you that the type of different trade limit, market and condition, conditional. And after that, I will say that this over here is not what we are going to be covering. And I will say that not, not most of you guys are going to use if let's say you are just going to like um, do a dollar cost average. Uh, what is that called? Dollar cost average entry to the cryptocurrency uh, world itself, I will say for Bitcoin. So over here, it's very simple to understand how does this type of trade works. So I'm just going to show you an example. I'm going to execute the trade over here. So over here, let's say um, this is um, buying. So right now, you want, to, you want to buy some crypto. You want to buy some Bitcoin. And of course, you want to buy it at a low price. So over here, you can see as of now, it is currently showing this amount. So if let's say you click on this over here, it's going to just ping this number over here. If you click on this over here, it's going to change the amount. So over here, this is uh, very understandable. Like How do you change the order price uh, on here? So we are going to do on the advanced one first, basically the limit order, uh, slightly harder to understand. So we here you have to know that this over here, the order price is telling you that how much, uh, what is the price that I want to buy Bitcoin at. And after the example, you want to buy at a low price, of course. So let's say you did some uh, dollar cost averaging, uh, whatever the analysis you've done, basically you know that 52,000 is the price that you want to enter, for example. And over here itself is telling you that, uh, okay, how much quantity I want. So if, let's say you do not understand that uh, how much Bitcoin you want to put in, it's very simple, just use the slider. So we're just going to tell you if let's say you put 20%, 25% of the assets onto, uh, onto 5,200, you are basically telling the order over here, I am going to use um, 
I'm going to enter Bitcoin at 52,000. And after that, this is the amount of Bitcoin that I will get by using $12 and yeah, 27 cents. If let's say you only have $50 over here. So what you want to do is just click on buy. And after that, it's going to have a confirmation. So for, for you to understand this confirmation tab itself, limit buy Bitcoin is very simple to understand. This is the price that I want to buy Bitcoin at. 52,000 and after that the, the amount I want to spend is $12.27 and after that, this is the amount of Bitcoin that I'll be getting so to understand it to form it into a sentence for you to understand is over here I want to buy some Bitcoin I did some limit order so over here order price okay just remember that order price is how much uh the price that you want to enter at basically a position that you want to enter into the market and after that the, the, the order value itself is how much you're willing to spend and after that over here the quantity is telling you that how much you acquire by spending $12.27 at this price level, you will be uh, uh, getting this amount of Bitcoin. So I hope you understand this. So once it's, everything is confirmed and everything checked out, just click on buy. And over here, we can see that it is on active. And after that, we can see that currently we do not actually own the Bitcoin yet. Why is that so? Because um, the, the order has not been fulfilled. Basically, the price because uh, the, the order price that we entered is 52,000 and after that we understand that right now the price is 54,000 and 200 dollars and after that we have to technically wait for the price to drop until 52,000 and from there it will get executed and we will own this amount of bitcoin that has been quoted to us this amount if let's say it does not drop over to this 52,000 and after that um, you're just doing a dollar cost average uh, monthly strategy like example you just buy bitcoin every month or so so over here you must be thinking like hey i don't want to do this limit order but of course i'll tell you the benefit of doing the limit order itself it is slightly cheaper in fee one of the thing because you're providing liquidity and after that the next thing we're going to talk about is the market order which is slightly more um yeah basically um we're going to talk about it right now so over here on the market order itself is very simple to understand it is telling you that market meaning you're gonna just buy enter and uh, which if, let's say you're using coin hako or let's say other exchange that does not have this limit order function or even the conditional function you just only can you can only use the limit uh the market order basically what does it mean if let's say you're using the crypto.com application yes it is using a market order basically you're buying bitcoin at whatever price it's showing you so if you put one dollar itself you can just click on buy and after that uh, you have to buy more than 10 all right so you put 10 10 dollars in bitcoin and after that, if you click on buy itself it's going to tell you all right, so we are going to buy at whatever price is that. So you can see right now, uh, upon like confirmation, confirm, uh, confirm, confirming this thing over here, the price behind is jumping all around. So this is just the, uh, uh, just an accurate, not really an accurate, it's just a quote that when you click on the buy itself, it's going to quote you this amount. If let's say we click again, the amount is going to be the same because we are buying a very little amount. So here I would say that if you put 100, we do not have enough money. So we can't put that. So we're going to put 10. And after that, if you click on buy itself, if you click on buy BTC, it is going to straight away execute um, the price over here. Basically, you're going to spend $10 worth of uh, US dollar to acquire Bitcoin at $54,150. Uh, of course, this price over here, I would say the price on rate itself, the first step you see, it is the first um the, the order is going to be executed over there so if you click on buy it is going to straight away buy the amount over here and after that from there you will have the bitcoin over there and of course if let's say um you want to sell it's very simple once you have acquired the bitcoin uh, let's say by using limit or market itself the next thing you want to do is sell click on the sell tab and everything will be red because you are selling and after that note that whenever you sell your market is going to be I mean, your order is going to be sent to the order book over here and after it, uh, regarding on which price you enter at. So right now you can see I have this amount of Bitcoin, uh, very little, to be honest. I do not even know it is executable, it is not executable. So over here, let's say you already have some Bitcoin, for example, $100 worth. And after that, over here, you want to basically sell Bitcoin at a higher price. So you, example, we have entered at $5,200 and it has already went there and we have already got executed. So right now, we are going to basically do this over here to basically tell you. So let's say you already entered 5,200 and you want to take a profit at 5,600 and after that over here 56,000 I mean and after that we, what we want to do is um, just pull the amount over here to sell how much you want to sell very simple to use the slider 0 to 100% is how much you want to uh, sell your whole total assets and after that once you click on sell it's going to be sent over to the active order and waiting for it to reach 56,000 and after that from there it's going to sell so for the market itself it's the same thing if let's say you are you have already like bought bitcoin at 54,000 right now and after that you might be thinking hey um I have some weak I'm I'm weak and after that the price is very volatile right now I'm losing 10% of my total asset right now I want to liquidate all my assets and after that I want to get out of the crypto market already because it's a scam some of you guys might say that so we, how you do it is very simple just head over to the market and just drag to 100% and sell Bitcoin immediately it will execute the order uh, on the green basically 
yeah, the price on green itself is going to be executed on the sell because you are selling. A bit, uh, and after that, your your mark, your order will be sent to the 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 red book. If you are using the limit order, so basically limit. If you click on sell, it's going to be sent onto the queue on the order book on red side. And if you do the market itself, you are looking for a green green order book to be uh, a green side to basically fill your fill your order. And after that, from there, it's going to be direct. And after that, uh, quick instantly over here, whatever price is shown, you're gonna regardless of the price, you do not regard the price, you're just gonna enter. I mean, you're gonna just gonna exit the market using the market order. So this is how it works. So for conditional itself is slightly uh, much more complicated. And I would say that over here, the trigger price, the limit price, and after over here for from my understanding of trading itself, for the trigger price itself, let's say you put 52,000, I'm just gonna put on buy 52,000. And after that, you can put the order limit order is uh, maybe 51,000 something like that and after we can put this and we click on buy it is going to tell us the trigger amount is telling us that okay so on 52,000 it's going to trigger this thing and after that basically send this order into the market book uh, the, the order book itself so this this once you place this order itself it is not actually uh, an active order but it is conditional so what does this mean itself is very simple so if let's say the price does not reach 52,000 itself this order itself is never going to be sent onto the order book and after that, what does this order price mean? Is it's just actually uh, actually telling you that this is just a condition order. It is not active. So the order is that the order that is not active, it is not recorded in the mark order book. And after that, it will never be executed regardless of what, unless the conditional the condition has been met. So we hear the trigger price as we said. Uh, we have already entered it at 52,000. So what does it mean? If let's say Bitcoin hits 52,000 itself, our $51,000 worth of uh, Bitcoin that we want to buy will be sent to the active order itself and after that, it will be sent to the order book. So this is just uh, basically just telling you that this is how does the conditional uh, the, the parameters work. So over here, the trigger price is, uh, okay, so right now we are going to say we want to buy Bitcoin at 51,000. So over here, we are thinking like, okay, the trigger price, we want to set it at maybe 51,500. And of course, over here, some uh, people will use this over here is because if let's say the price of Bitcoin is very volatile, it suddenly crashed by 10 or 20%, this over here can save their money. So what are, what do I mean by that? Because the trigger itself, there's a delay. So once it's, it has been triggered itself, if let's say the price, let's say has been uh, triggered on 51,500 and suddenly the market crash, maybe the price of Bitcoin is at 52,000, for example. And after that, suddenly the market uh, crashed 10%. And after that, we know that from that 52,000 itself all the way to 10% below, the price itself, we are going to get a trigger order. So our order will get triggered. And after that, from that, it will send our order to the limit uh the book itself and then after if if let's say it's too uh the crash is too quick and after that we can't really uh, execute anything it is just gonna cancel slash void the order so over here this can save money as well so i will say that if let's say you want to choose market or limit depending on you so if you put a limit itself if let's say the price gonna crash all the way below that 10 percent itself you will basically may you may not get filled basically your order might be voided or let's say uh, it's gonna just execute whatever is on the market itself so let's, let's say the price of bitcoin right now 50, our trigger order is this the price of bitcoin is 52 and suddenly it crashed to 48,000. suddenly it's just suddenly and after that there's no time for the or for the parameter to react quickly so what it's going to do is let's say the price right now is 48,000. we are going to execute our order at um let's say you put it at for the uh, 51,000. so trigger at this and after that you want to enter at this so let's say it crashed too quickly basically you are at 40, 48,000 right now it is going to buy at 48,000 instead of the 51,000 because the limit order you set over there if let's say you put a market itself it's the same thing it is going to basically trigger this the market itself is very simple once it has been triggered you're gonna just buy whatever is there and after that this is also for you to basically um, prevent a volatile crash or upward swing i would say so over here you have to understand that this over here is going to uh okay flip a switch and after that from there we, we know that let's say you're gonna set a diamond dynamite itself if let's say somebody step for the switch itself it's gonna take them to re maybe like one or two seconds to react before it explode therefore this is the same thing over here condition we have to think it like uh, it is a time bomb and after that from here we are going to switch this this uh, this amount over here and if let's say the market the the price crash suddenly we know that over here we are going to get an execute order of whatever is below instead of uh, 51,000 for market so for limit it's the same same concept but of course limit itself it might it might be uh, executed it might not be so over here this is just a uh, how does the conditional thing work for the cell itself is the same thing. So basically, I've come to the end of this tutorial.
and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up to this video. And of course, if let's say you really do not understand what the fuck am I saying uh, previously on whatever video is that, feel free to join my Discord channel. And after that, from there, we can have a discussion over there. I also have my Telegram group. You can join either one. And after that, from there, you can ask me questions like uh, which part that of the tutorial you do not understand and from there you need an explanation of one-to-one -one guide yes i'm trying to basically build a community and of course i'm trying to be nice therefore i would say that yes i will do a one-to-one -one guide basically if you ask me any question on telegram or discord itself i will do my best within my time i will reply you and of course if let's say i i missed the message or i read your message but i did not reply you because i I will just tell you honestly, I have many, many messages, people asking me like, what is this, what is that, and how do I do this, how do I do that, and I try my best to basically answer of them, and I hope you really can do the support by liking this uh, video, and of course, subscribing to my channel, and of course, supporting my links down below, basically, I'm just doing it for free, so I hope uh, I can get all this kind of support, and after that, I've come to the end of the video, if you like it, kindly hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notification, and I'm gonna see you on the next tutorial, bye-bye, guys.